Martin Munene, as I had said earlier, is on uh, the Nyeri Nairobi Highway. Good morning, Martin Munene. And uh, how is the crackdown day three in that region? Uh, all right. A very good morning to you, Sam Gachuko from uh, Nyeri County. And like you said, following uh, you know the calling off of the matter to strike, uh, things uh, seem to be you know coming back to normal. Uh, because as I stand on this particular road in Nyeri, uh, the Nyeri Nairobi uh, you know highway, like you rightly put it, I can see from where I stand, uh, operations are still on. Police officers have come out in their numbers. Uh, they are inspecting uh, personal vehicles or private vehicles and also public services vehicles you know just trying to see if they are compliant and what I can say some from this end is that uh, we have seen uh, you know that the numbers of matatus on the roads has significantly gone higher compared to yesterday and the day before of course meaning that uh, more uh, matatus or more public service vehicles are compliant as we speak uh, and at the same time uh, I can say some that uh, from the data that we've gathered we, we understand that uh, in the past two days hundreds of motorists have actually been arrested and arraigned in court uh, you know regarding uh, the same the Mishuki rules for example like this matatu that is here you can see a police officer is actually uh, inspecting to see if this particular matatu is compliant if the passengers who are there are actually compliant an interesting thing I see here is that this matatu actually even has a dustbin it has a place where you know if you're a passenger and you've got you know things you're using once you're through you can actually dump your you know uh, you you can actually dump your, your trash in this uh, in this particular can. Uh, but some an interesting development in this particular county is that uh, we have seen uh, a particular type of vehicle that is uh, border, I mean that is a uh, Sienta's and pro boxes banned from ferrying passengers. We understand that a lot of uh, uh, vehicles on these roads have been ferrying passengers and they have licenses to operate as taxis and not as, you know, uh, vehicles that are actually compliant with things like uh, they, they should be inspected and they should have a PSV uh, license to be able to, you know, ferry passengers who actually ferry. But as we speak now, uh, we have seen normally along this road and al along other roads in Erie County, we see a lot of Sienta, Sientas and other types of smaller vehicles that are used to ferry passengers. But as you can see today, with the, those vehicles are not on the road because uh, they have actually been told that they cannot be on the road unless they go for inspection and they are cleared to carry passengers who pay fares. So Nyeri County uh, inspection is still on. Uh, the police are on the road, uh, you know, carrying out their duties. But as I, as I have said, some uh, what you're witnessing here is that uh, uh, we are seeing much, much, much more vehicles or many more vehicles on the roads, uh, meaning that at least people are not as stranded as they were uh, days ago. Some and uh, we have also seen a crackdown on you know private vehicles. Like I said earlier, one of the things that I'm told they are looking for uh, includes safety gadgets such as a fire extinguisher. And according to police sources, they are saying that most of the vehicles do have them, but most of them are actually expired. So some from Nyeri County, as I take it back to in studio, uh, we can report authoritatively that uh, the in, uh, you know the op operation is still on uh, but we have seen much much more uh, you know activity on our roads very many vehicles are back on the road and the ones that you know aren't uh, back on the road I'm sure are those that aren't compliant we've been here for about 30 minutes and most of the vehicles that have actually uh, been looked into uh, they seem to be okay because most of them have been actually let to go but another thing I can say Sam is that uh, you know we've seen a lot of border borders operating today I've not seen it border borders uh, you know or operating who've been arrested like previously uh, so I don't know if uh, the shift uh, or the focus has shifted into you know uh, inspecting matatus and private vehicles because I've not seen uh, a lot of border border uh, matatus or operators being stopped and you know just having a conversation with the police uh, but uh, from your county as I take it back to studio some I can say that the operation is still on and quite a number of matatus are back on the road and so fewer people are walking i remember the first day we came here there were many many people on this road who are walking to nyeri town but now as i look at uh, there are quite a few people maybe just those who opt to walk the fares are still the same uh, there has not been uh, hiking or fares and therefore uh, people have been able to use public service vehicles to get to work from nyeri county back to in studio samgetuko i am martin monene